hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter to my shen so for today's video we're gonna be talking about my big day so today is december 10th 2022 okay and your girl is getting married in church today okay in front of god and men today okay so of course i'm pre-recording this video because i want to post it on the day of our wedding and with all the festivities all that i have going on i won't be able to record that day so i'm pre-recording this video to tell you guys that i'm getting married today so please go and check out my social media okay because i'll be posting and posting and posting people will be posting and tagging me and i'll be reposting those post so definitely check out the description box down below so you guys can see my instagram especially on instagram and snapchat i'll be reposting and posting on both those apps but you can also follow my tiktok and my twitter so i did one month countdown of my wedding that we posted on my tiktok so like i said follow me on tiktok i'll also post it on my other platforms all right you guys how am i feeling knowing that my wedding is super duper close I'm excited as you guys can tell by my voice. I'm super excited. I'm I'm beyond blessed and grateful for the men I have. Um yeah, I feel like I have found my soulmate and I wouldn't want to do this thing called life without him. Um I feel like my husband makes me better. I feel like my husband um pushes me to be the best version of myself. I feel like my husband completes me okay so you guys oh my gosh i can't believe today is the day it has been a long time coming if you guys do not know we got married in court two years ago which was september 9th 2020 okay it was during the panoramic because it was during the panoramic we had our civil wedding done at the park and we had a little reception at jordan's aunt's house which is where he used to stay before we moved in together so it was great it was wonderful um i loved it it was very small and intimate like i wanted it once again it was during the you know panoramic we couldn't even have that many people anyways so now we are hosting a big wedding of 350 people so today being our wedding day let me give you guys a rundown of what we did the night before and what we're gonna do today so the night before hobby and i decided to book two furnished apartment you know one is for my bridesmaid and i and one is for his groomsman and him so that we can all wake up and all get ready together because i don't want to hear oh i'm late or anything like that since our church is early so the night before you know we spend the night in you know those apartments because you guys know the night before you cannot see the groom she cannot see the bride all that good stuff so of course you know we slept in separate you know, apartments but it was in the same building and this was also to make it easy for the next day when the photographers comes around to start recording and everything like that you guys and now today being our wedding day our church celebration is at 10 a.m but we put 9 a.m on the invitation knowing that at 10 we will start the celebration so for the people that come late and stuff like that they have time to make it there by the time we start the celebration at 10 okay so after the celebration the celebration should last about an hour because my husband and i already have our you know sacraments you know we are baptized we have our first communion we have a confirmation so it's going to be a quick ceremony it's going to take about an hour so after that we're going to do the you know, picture sessions you know at the church and stuff like that and after the picture session at the church we actually booked a hall and you know a catering service to do like a mini reception okay it's gonna be a mini reception you know we're gonna you know toast we're gonna you know talk chat a bit you know with our guests and after that we're gonna go take pictures my bridesmaid his groomsmen's us you know his best man my maid of honor we're all gonna go take pictures at like a nice place and stuff like that after that we're gonna go back to the apartments that we booked now we can be together because you guys we have already seen each other at the church you know we're probably going to pick one apartment where we're going to stay all together for us to practice the dances we're going to be doing at the big reception at night it's going to be to talk to chat you know to rest and at 8 p.m is the big big reception where we are hosting 350 people okay so we as you know bridesmaids and the the, the bride and the groom and the groomsmen 
we are probably going to show up there around 10 okay around 10 p.m or so so we stated that the event started at 8 so people can you know show up and there can be a lot of people by the time we get there because I'm not going to say my event start at 8 and show up at 8, me being the bride or and my husband being the groom, and there's nobody. You guys know that's that, that, that that's not going to be cute because you, you guys know we have to do a grand entrance. Okay? So we're going to show up around 10 p.m. Also, and hoping that, you know, the hall will be full or if not almost full. And, yeah, we're going to do what we got to do, have fun. If you guys know my husband and I. You guys know that we love to have fun. So today is about to be a movie. Today, you guys do not want to miss. You do not want to miss. So, so definitely, definitely, definitely add me on Snapchat and on Instagram for sure. Because today is about to be a movie. We have been planning this for two long years. And today is finally here. And also, let me tell you guys about last weekend. Okay, last weekend was actually my traditional wedding. Like I said, I will make sure I have videos for you guys back to back of each event okay so i'll make sure i post those videos for you guys so you guys can you know follow along with your girl on her big big day so last weekend we actually celebrated our traditional wedding and it was in yaoundé if you guys don't know yaoundé is where i'm actually from and my husband is from douala so today's event is happening in douala and last week's event happened in yaoundé so on friday December 2nd is when we did our traditional wedding and today being December 10th is when we are doing our church wedding You guys I'm excited. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm grateful and I, I, I don't know what else to say you guys so you guys know you guys are my family So I decided that I'll upload this the day of the wedding so we can share the excitement together today is the end of the countdown like i said i was have been counting down for this day for the longest two years of planning and we are finally here you guys know how long two years is even though with the panoramic these years have been going a bit faster i do not know why and you guys i'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like those two years of planning was peaches and roses all the time no it wasn't it was hard it was sleepless nights it was a lot going on but for me to sit here today on our wedding day and post this video to tell you guys that today hubby and I are getting married in front of God despite all the odds that were on our path we were still able to make it today December 10 2022 and get married in front of God you guys there is a God so one message I want to give you future bride or you that have been married or you that is going through something is no one okay no one on this earth is stronger or more powerful than God no one okay when jesus says yes nobody can say no planning this wedding for the past two years showed me so many people's faces showed me who people are and what are their intention really when it comes to me my husband our union i saw through people's masks you know how people walk around with masks and fake the funk i was able to see it in this past two years and you guys it's not to throw shade though i'm just speaking facts please turn to god Pray to him and say, God, if this is meant to be, make that happen. But if it's not, take it away. It was hard. Like I said, I was crying some days. Okay? The little things I'm going to touch base on, I had some bridesmaid give up on me. I had, he also had some things happening on his end with his guys. I had, the day I went to get my dress altered, you guys. I realized that my dress was ripped on both sides the day I went to get it altered. Thankfully, I lost weight, so I had to get it altered. Think about if I was to go back home with my dress and find out the day of the wedding that it was ripped. Like the lace on my dress on both sides ripped. You guys, I was like, yeah, there's so many things that keep happening that pushes me to say, oh God, why? But no, I'm going to say God. You know why this is happening. You are the reason why my husband and I want to get married at your church. We want you to be, you know, the person to bless our marriage. Yes, we are married, we are married, you know, civilly by law. We are married, but I wanted my marriage to be blessed by God. So all these things happening, it's not going to break me down. So many things will happen. Like I keep saying, you guys, it wasn't easy. One day, okay, I'll sit and tell you guys more. 
But let me just go ahead and tell you a little advice that I was given while planning this wedding, okay? For every big event that you are planning for or that is coming um, your way, there's going to be trial, tribulations, and people are going to try to block your path. But if it's a wedding that you're planning, all that matters is you and your husband. Everybody else, they don't matter. As long as you and your partner are on the same path, looking at the same direction, that's all that matters. Everybody else around, they do not matter. So my husband and I, we even say, even if it's just us two on that day, we will get married at church. Even if it's just us two. Are you guys hearing what I'm saying? Even if it's just us two today at church, we'll make it happen. Because we love each other. We want God to bless us and bless our union. Okay? My role as a wife is to make sure he gets to paradise. And his role as a husband is to make sure I get to paradise. That's all that matters. And, and praise be to God that today we are celebrating, you know, our wedding at the church. So God can bless us. And we can bless others in some type of ways. You know, we can impact others. If me talking to you about this today made you, oh, wow, so me as a wife, I should, you know, help my husband get to heaven and vice versa. If it, it, it lit a bulb in your head, I'm grateful. I appreciate it. I'm happy. Even if this video touched one person, that's all that matters. So just know your path to success will not be easy. Your path to be married will not be easy. Your path to do a lot of things in this life will not be easy. But all that matters is the man up there and here. Okay? As long as you're okay mentally, you're making sure that you are taking in the goods, letting go of the bad, and praying to God, you'll be okay. Like I said, if it's something to do with getting married, because this, this video is about, you know, me getting married today. If it has to do with that, Make sure you and your partner are on the same page, looking at the same direction, have the same vision. Everybody else don't matter. Pray with your partner. Pray to God and ask God for discernment for the people around you. Ask God for discernment so you can see through people's BS. So you guys, like I said, I'll find time to come here and talk to you guys more about you know, how it has been. But overall, I'm blessed, I'm grateful, I thank God. I say thank you, God, for all you do for us, for all you do for me, for blessing my family, for blessing Jordan's family, for blessing all of us. I thank God. If you watch the video to the end, drop a ring emoji and congratulate us. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye, guys.